I'm meteorologist Gary Lee Zach with Weather 2020, the difference in weather forecasting. We have a brand new product called the Global Predictor. Go to our site, weather2020.com, and get your forecast for six months uh, out into the future, anywhere in the world. And you can also download the Global Predictor on your uh, from your app stores. So make sure you upgrade to the 599 version to get your pro version of that. And as a result, you'll get the full six months of forecast anywhere in the world. So that's the global predictor. Right now, the prediction of this tropical system was made by Weather 2020 six months ago. I'll show you for this part of the pattern to produce what's happening right now. It's really incredible. So let me share it with you. Well, all right, let's start by taking a look at this system. You can see that it is near Cuba right now. There's some thunderstorms organizing north of Cuba, but because it's near the island, it's going to be affected by the land masses, as you can see there. And as we go into a little closer look at this, you can see here is Cuba, and then here is the thunderstorms developing. It is far from a tropical storm at this moment, but something in the next two, to two days, it likely will be tracking to the north and west and becoming one, as you can see. All right, let's go to our presentation and show you what's going on. Oh, before I do that, I wanna show you this real quick. Take a look at this map. This map is a surface map on February the 5th. See the surface low? And see this low off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina? All right, we're expecting this system to form near this and track that way. This one map says an awful lot. And remember, this year's pattern is cycling at close to 45 to 46 days. February 5th is literally 180 days ago, 45 times six. So this is right on cycle. And uh, if you go to the next day, it intensifies off the East Coast. So that's what's probably gonna happen as well. But this is the winter version of a cycle, but we utilize this to make our prediction for this week. So let me show you as we go through our PowerPoint presentation on this tropical update on August the 2nd, 2024. All right, order and chaos, August 2nd update. This is what the National Hurricane Center, as of early in the morning on Friday, August 2nd, this region for potential development, but look, this was our forecast from March 4th. Six months ago, we predicted a system would be near Cuba and track into this area. Now, it's probably gonna be a little off, probably, we gotta watch it. But this was the forecast from six months ago, all right? Using strong sound meteorological analysis. It's not just observation, we have data that backs up all the observations. This season, we've had Alberto, Beryl, and Chris. Beryl was a category five hurricane that formed over the Caribbean and moved into the Gulf of Mexico as a weaker system as it went into Texas. Chris was not even a storm, but they named it that for some reason to my, to it just, well, I know what they do. They, they, it might've been a very weak system as it moved inland. But anyway, Chris was the third one, and now Debbie, Debbie is the next one. So this one is likely going to be named Debbie. This season, as of August the 2nd, so I had another week to this, there have been three named storms so far. That's near average. We average about three by now. Weather 2020's forecast is 14 to 19 named storms. Our forecast is the lowest one being tracked by the Barcelona Supercomputing Center site. 14 and 19 named storms. Two years ago, the last two years, Weather 2020 has had the most accurate seasonal forecasts. And we're gonna make it three years in a row. So look at this, this is two years ago. We also predicted a low number, 75, 12 named storms. There ended up being 14. Four of them came in November, otherwise we'd have really, really won. But still, the, this is the ACE prediction Accumulating cyclical energy from Colorado State University, 180, ours 75, and it was 95. So that's two years ago. Last year, 
130. We expected it to be a little bit above average. It was 143. Colorado State thought it would be a below average season. So we're going to beat the other predictions three years in a row when it comes in. And this is our prediction, 14 to 19 named storms. Notice everyone else is above us. And the average is 24 named storms. There have been three so far. This is the average of all the predictions. Each one of these is a prediction from private company, universities, or government agencies. And there's Weather 2020s, the lowest number. And there's Penn University, the highest number. And when it comes to ACE, same thing. Uh, we're the lowest ACE prediction of any organization out there. Again, this is the region we're watching for development. And it's interesting. If you look at the GFS this morning, it's over Cuba. So by Saturday night, this is as of 2 a.m. Sunday morning Eastern time, a system may finally get named west of Florida, as you can see on the GFS. And then look, it's forecast to intensify after it crosses the Florida Peninsula. So it's probably not a hurricane. Okay? It doesn't look like it's going to be until it gets over the Atlantic Ocean. We'll just have to see. But the European model has it farther west now. Even though the European model had it over here for days and days and days, now it's over here in a very weak system. So the trend is for this to be a continuation of a weak system. Later this month, we're expecting a couple other opportunities. This is for mid-August to late August and late September. There's another prediction from Weather 2020. And then this one also from mid to late August will likely have another system near the end of the month out here heading off to the west. Uh, there's a lot of frequently asked questions in terms, what is an early indicator? What I showed you on that February outlook, Fe February map was an early indicator allowing us to make these predictions, as you can see there. So there is your tropical update. Basically, what is happening is the system's near Cuba. It is not organized. It may get organized if it tracks a little bit farther west into the Gulf of Mexico. Watch out. Then it will have a really good chance to blow up before it gets to Florida. So something we need to monitor. There's still a lot of questions about the storm. I'm meteorologist Gary Lisak. We'll have another update over the weekend.